Okay, so Valerian, it came out yesterday. I saw the first 3D screen of it at the Odeon Cinema. Mm -mm. And I guess like probably like the rest of you, um, the trailer looks fun. It kind of looks like a video game, I suppose. Now, I don't know much about the graphic novel of Valerian, okay? But luckily I picked up this little uh, booklet from the Odeon Cinema. And in here, it tells you a bit more about it. Right, let's put on my reading glasses, okay. Okay, Valerian, Valerian, Valerian. Uh, where are you, where are you, where are you? Aha, Valerian. All right, so the first line, uh, it was two decades in the making for the director, Luc Besson, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you'll probably know the guy directed like Leon and uh, Lucy. I quite like Lucy. And you probably know that he directed The Fifth Element as well. Right. So yeah, this is based on a groundbreaking graphic novel, it says, which not only influenced Avatar, but also the original Star Wars trilogy. It's got a budget of $210 million. Turn the page. And here is the, uh, here's the plot line. After centuries of peace, an unknown force wants to destroy all that we have created. Under orders from the Ministry of Defense, Valerian and Laurelin have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. All right, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna say is that, I don't know, it wasn't really a thinker for me. I just went and sat there for two and a half hours and I just went along with the ride, to be honest. It was, it's not a thinking movie at all, it's really not. It's just action, it's just visual effects. And you've got some great cameos from like Ethan Hawke, uh, John Goodman, Rihanna. But like I say, it's not a thinker. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just didn't know what to expect when I went in, but I think just after like sitting there for two and a half hours, I just realized I hadn't used my head at all while I was watching it. I'll be honest with you, right? I do like the fifth element, but I don't like the bit. As soon as it gets into space in the fifth element, that's where I kind of like, I lost interest in the movie a little bit. All the time that Bruce Willis is on Earth, I think that bit's all really good for some reason. When it got into space, I don't know, I just felt, and, it, and it's the same in this movie as well, like all the clothing that the characters wear, it always just seems too big for them, which I think is a bit distracting on the eye. You've got people wearing hats that just seem absolutely massive on them. They're wearing like clothes with buttons that buttons are just huge. And for me, that is too distracting and a little bit comical as well. But none of this is to say it's a bad film. It's, it's really not a bad film. I enjoyed it for two and a half hours. I sat there for two and a half hours, watching it in 3D. Really enjoyed it, it was fun. I thought some of the one-liners were a bit cheesy, but it's a movie based on a graphic novel, so you can't really expect much more than like great visuals and great story. But I did like it. I'd recommend it in 3D if you do go and see it. It does make a bit of a difference. I just wish I had more to say about it. I'll just get back to my book. History is on the march. 